guys right well obviously things have changed a bit since the last video um, I'm not on 50 subscribers anymore I'm now on over a hundred subscribers so the prize has changed third place will now get everything that I have created or creating second place will get a 20 pound games workshop gift voucher and first place will get a 30 pound games workshop gift voucher so if you haven't entered it's worth entering yeah um i've also checked out the, my previous video and for some strange reason i don't know why they did it ended up being useless anyway but I had emergency news broadcast which actually shut out everything no one could actually see or hear anything that I was creating so hopefully I'll do this video and there won't be any interruptions to be able to see what is happening okay so I'll get everything out and we'll see how we go okay first off I'll show you the uh, basing that I've done for, ready for the striking scorpion AE2's tournament or not exactly tournament, it's a campaign that they're holding because obviously I'm going there in a couple of days but this is the basic basin I'm going to do just a little frozen wasteland with a few bits of snow attached I've done that on almost all of the models, I've got a few more to do mainly the Tempestus but yeah then yeah that's how my basin is going to be works alright until they're brush strokes but it's supposed to be a frozen lake so it still works okay let's move on to the first item of the competition with the time building okay the first piece of terrain as you see right here is um, the first bit and if I've made that little hill for there so you'll be able to see that I couldn't really explain it properly in the last video but hopefully that will um, get everything in the right place so we can build that little sort of mound bit and um, I'm thinking of building the bunker onto that bit and um, so we have the hill, the bunker and one of the barricades on the back okay so we'll move on to the next piece which is slightly larger now I know you couldn't exactly hear it properly on uh, the last video but I'm thinking about making a small sort of gate on there so that people could get through in between them two little mounds that you see there and um, hopefully we'll be able to well, I'm, I'm thinking of building some sort of blown up gate and uh, the two little mounds maybe build up some kind of broken ammunition or something and then that should leave plenty of space behind it for the ammunition dumps and the two hills and the broken the um, fence so that'll be that bit and the next bit which is slightly larger I'm hoping that this bit will be the next part of it so that you'll be able to have the whole long line defence sort of thing and um, I'm going to put all them tank traps across the front so that you'll be able to use that as a blocking part if you're going to use it for terrain because obviously it's going to be multiple uses on all of it and um, yeah hopefully that should prove to be quite cool and um, 
yeah so that's going to be that bit I'll move on to the next bit this is the largest part of the uh, competition prize that I am doing obviously this is going to have a larger hill over there and then over here on this flat surface we're going to have not exactly a flat area but there's going to be a crashed vehicle of some sort I'm hoping that will work quite nicely and uh, yeah and obviously I'm going to have uh, separate parts where um, I'm going to be having tank traps, I'm going to build individual tank traps so you can put them around your tables as you're playing and that and yeah so you could use them as terrain you can use them as a base of large models if you want or cut them down using small models you can turn them into dioramas you could sell them do whatever you want you know the uh, yesterday was actually my son's birthday and can you believe what I said to him I didn't say happy birthday I actually turned around and said Merry Christmas yeah he uh, wasn't too impressed when I didn't say happy birthday and uh, here I ended up asking him after I gave him his PlayStation 2 for his uh, birthday present or Christmas present and um, I asked him out of everything that he wanted what would he actually want and he said another army for Warhammer 40k and I said well, okay what sort of force alien or imperial and he turned around and well he actually said he wanted tyrant it and um, I tried to convince him not to and I tried to convince him to stay with his stormtroopers until he can actually play better because it's damn expensive and uh, yeah obviously I wanted him to be able to join on my team if he ever goes for a uh, massive join apocalypse battle and uh, hopefully and one day we'll be able to do that <laughs> but um, yeah I can't really have much trust in him with uh, wanting to build his force at the moment because I'm, ke I'm keeping his force as a 2000 point force and um, yeah he can have his own force when he's older not now so uh, yeah out of everything here for the competition obviously we've got the large piece we've got the next large piece the next large piece and the next so it's four bits plus all of the tank traps that I'm going to be building to go along with it there's going to be a couple of broken tank traps in there and that is now the uh, third place prize so I'm hoping everyone will enjoy and I'm definitely hoping there's not been no interruptions on this video so you can actually see what I'm building because it's useless you not being able to see what I'm building isn't it Right, okay I've had a quick check over the news broadcast, there hasn't been any news interruptions so you should have been able to see everything there before the competition. Obviously if you haven't joined in yet and you want to join in, the Bitsbox Watcher is for people that don't have YouTube channels and would like to still enter and hopefully win. Your challenge is obviously right in the uh, comment section down below bits box watcher and then you'll get a point for commenting on every video that people have put out and you'll get a bonus point for making your comment funny the bits box challenge is for people to do their own YouTube videos so people have YouTube obviously you'll get 30 points for your main creation at the end which will be done in separate sc uh, scores of 10 so you've got your score for idea on it the score for paintwork on it and score for the creative ideas of how you made it and then you've also got to write in the comments down below bits box uh, challenge 
and you've got to put a link to your channel so people can go over, subscribe to you, watch your videos and if they haven't got a YouTube account they can join in and type comments in, type funny comments in and then obviously the people with YouTube channels they will get a bonus content, bonus point for one video per week obviously we're now the second week in so that's two points passed but you've still got another five points plus all of the extra points for your actual creating creation and then you'll get a bonus point for making your video funny somehow so still plenty of time if you want to join in absolutely go for it there's tons of time uh, I hope you'll enjoy hunting through your bits box and making anything out of nothing and just making something that you can find useful for yourself alright take it easy good gaming